In the book of Matthew chapter 24, verse 35, Matthew chapter 24, verse 35, the Bible says, Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. I pray the word of the Lord shall not expire in your life in Jesus' name. Close your eyes. Take this prayer upon loud and clear. Say, O mercy of God, restore my calling. In the name of Jesus, O mercy of God, restore my calling. Restore my calling. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's topic is Bible stolen in the dream. Bible stolen in the dream. Did you see your Bible stolen in the dream? If yes, we are going to tell you the biblical meaning and the spiritual meaning of a stolen Bible. The Bible is a representation of the Word of God. The Word of God is powerful enough to defeat Satan, to bring solution to our problems, and to deliver and protect us from evil. The Bible is a weapon in every child of God, without which our life will be an easy target to the enemies. It is therefore a tragedy when your Bible is stolen in the dream. It's period that you'll be vulnerable to the attacks of the enemy. When your Bible is lost or stolen in the dream, it therefore means that you have lost your spiritual gift. You have lost your connection with God. A sign that you are backsliding as a child of God or the dream could reveal that you have lost the word of God in your heart. I pray for you today. The Bible says heaven and hell shall pass away. The word of God will not pass away. I pray may the word of God never dismiss in your life in Jesus' name. The Bible is our manual that contains the word of God, that contains the word of faith for our lives. Once it is stolen or lost in a dream or reality, then it means you have no power. It means you are going to lose heaven back in. Whenever you dream that your Bible is stolen as a minister of God, do not take the dream for granted because the dream is a sign that the enemy is attacking your calling, the enemy is attacking your ministry. The devil wants to take away your gifts so that they can attack you and bring you down. God forbid. You must never allow them to attack your ministry and prevail over it in Jesus' name. Be full of fasting and prayers during this time. As a child of God, you need to go for a personal retreat in order to refine yourself powerfully. Do you have friends who hate to see you quoting the scriptures? If yes, the enemy in her or him wants to kill your spiritual gift. If you have such a friend, separate yourself from that person because he or she is unfriendly with the word of God. A stolen Bible is a sign of defeat. A stolen Bible is a sign of battle. A stolen Bible is a sign of failure. A stolen Bible is a sign of spiritual warfare. A stolen Bible is a sign of weakness. A stolen Bible is a sign of faithlessness. A stolen Bible is a sign of struggle. A stolen Bible is a sign of hard times. A sign that the enemy has taken away the key to your ministry, the key to your wealth, the key to your prosperity, your progress and promotion. You must prayerfully recover your stolen Bible, your stolen items, your stolen blessings. You must be ready to increase your prayer fire and activate your spiritual gift, like speaking in tongues, like activating your faith, your wisdom, and discerning spirit. Study the word of God at all times, and you shall be blessed in Jesus' name. Instruction, can you read the following Bible verses? Psalm 18, verse 30, Luke chapter 11, verse 28, Colossians chapter 3, verse 16, and lastly, Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point. Say, Lord Jesus, wherever my Bible is, I recover it by fire. In the name of Jesus, Lord Jesus, wherever my Bible is, I recover it by fire. I recover it by fire. I recover it by fire. In Jesus' name. Powers that have stolen my spiritual power, release it and die. In the name of Jesus. Powers that have stolen my spiritual power, release it and die. In Jesus' name. O oh Lord, let your word be filled in my heart at all times. In the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, let your word be filled in my heart at all times. Let your word be filled in my heart at all times. In Jesus' name. Say, Holy Ghost fire, attack any power assigned to attack my calling. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire, attack any power assigned to attack my calling. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire, attack any power assigned to attack my calling. In Jesus' name. Say, let the word of God arise and do wonders in my life. In the name of Jesus, let the word of God arise and do wonders in my life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If this broadcast has blessed you, share it to your friends and family. 
Once again, this is Evangelist Joshua from Lagos.